Okay, I know it's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time. Ever since I'd done a video with my voice, and I know you all are like, Toho Lunar Nights, this sounds familiar. Isn't this this game that you tr tried to stream but you failed? And then, for somehow, some odd reason, just stop playing it? Well, I didn't stop playing it, I just, actually, I did stop playing it, but... What I am here to do is come back and just play this game and kind of speak about this game and I don't know gameplay uh, but without any further ado let's get right into it type thing so without any further ado let's get right into it so first off you, you're here with data of course I don't have any saves but we're going to start one up right now uh, I want you all to know what's going on here. So, it's time. The time has finally come. I definitely am not going to read all this. Now my world will begin. Are you ready, Sakia? <clears throat> my arm is spazzing right now. Ooh, hopefully I can play this game. So, the character that we're playing as is Sakia. That's what everybody should know. That's Sakia. Alright, haha. Or is that like breaths? Like, ha, ha, where am I? Where am I? Yeah, Sakia, can you hear me? This place, this is my place. Lady Roma's voice. What do you mean by space? What? Did I read that correctly? This is a magical space I made based on, I don't even know, Gensokyo. It's exactly the same as the real thing, but even the weather is the same. Uh, Fashi didn't have to go that far. Well, okay. This isn't Gensokyo. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> um. So basically, what we're trying to say is that the place that we're at now is like a a magical place, and it's supposed to be like a live version of something here's some mechanics about the game so normally you just throw you just kind of throw uh, knives and if you hold down the button um and press it time will actually slow down you can see all the water droplets and stuff it's kind of cool um this is one of the people in the game that will kind of help you out throughout the game and give you certain things um and uh, I've seen um, that shape before. Yeah, it looks like a wall of wheelie, a wall of, I mean, a Luigi type looking thing, but whatever. Um, these are enemies, and uh, <laughs> uh, they hurt. They, they give you damage. And there's a fish. That fish is actually one of the most annoying fish in all of video game history, in my opinion. I've never been so mad at a fish, but this game has done that. And I don't know. Um, you are. Hey, Akio. Hey, hi, hi, no Akio, right? Who the? Oh, Haiku. Oh, hello, hello. I mean, what are you doing in this place? In a place like this? There's no particular reason. I'm tired, so I'm resting. Cool. Oh, something feels off. She must be. An imposter, Lady Roma Space. She must be an imposter, Lady Roma Space created. Okay. I, I must be fate. Wait, okay, it must be fate. We met here. If you would like, shall I make a record? All right. What? You're a special. Is keeping records. I don't know what will happen, so whatever. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you hear me? Whatever, I don't care. Cool. So when you walk by those, you save. Or at least so I believe. And I just got hurt. Um. 
And there's these locked doors that you can't go through unless you have the keys. Um, some something that kind of sounds familiar, but trust me, it's not. You wish it was. It was not. Here we go. This is the first item that you you get. I think you you can get another item before this, but doesn't really matter. You have to get this item. This is the item that allows you to stop time. So whenever you want, you can stop time. So it's power, it's time manipulation. So you, but if you look up in the corner, the more you move and the more you attack, um, the meter for the time goes down. So you can't keep on, keep on using it because it's going to disappear. And you're not gonna be able to um, keep using it basically. So we gotta get our first items. These, this is another thing. Um, we'll basically max out everything for you. Um, this is a quick farming area, but I'm, I'm not really gonna use it. I, I just need to get to the places that I need to get to, and I forgot I can't get here. So this place requires a spot, um, a slide, which you don't have yet for some reason. Never. Um, dimmed upon your mind to crouch down and walk, you have to slide. So you have to find out how to do that. And uh, oh, I forgot, you don't really need to do this. There's a little glitch for that door. Um, I might show it when I come back, but I'm not sure if I will be coming back. Oh, I will. Um, and that's another thing, there's walls that you can break. At this point, it's supposed to say that you're running low on MP, but since I've been using mine a little sparingly... Um, uh, yeah, I didn't get that dialogue. Uh, I got hit by that somehow. I didn't even see him hit me, he just hit me. So now, what we got to do is go back here. It's gonna be these... Um, creatures that are second to most annoying. If I stop time, it will stop. Uh, I should be careful. So yeah, here's another thing. If you stop time in water, you can't move. So you have to be on top of it and make sure. Wow, make sure that you're really on top of the your game. In other words, I don't know how that happened, but cool. Oh no, what is going on? I'm getting hit by heavy. Beam. Oh no. Trying to Ooh. Um, I forget which way you're supposed to go. I think no, this way is not oh, maybe it is. Okay. Okay, just keep on going this way. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way. If you go up that way, there's a door. You don't need to go up that way. It's useless. Oh, almost got stuck. Now this is a one of the frustrating parts of this game, in my opinion, because uh, these enemies get introduced and they probably have one of the most annoying abilities in this whole game, other than um it the introduction of another thing that's introduced a little bit further in but what those things oh whoops those are baits you don't have to hit them what these things do is that they do that and as you can see they basically take up whole passageways you really can't do anything about it um, but yeah so you have to kind of roll with that because uh, Unless you got some like master skills, you can't avoid it really. So I think we had to go up here or something like that. And because our character doesn't have any nasty jumps yet, we gotta do this um, sequence of random stairs. I don't know what this is, combat training or some, some sort of mess. And we did have to go up here, but I'll take the save. Um, saves are necessary especially if I die I'm not trying to go all the way from the beginning let's skip that guy for now this part 
you actually kind of need to kill these people. Um, because if you don't, you're going to die. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. Um, just making sure I don't die here. Uh, this part is kind of easy to die on. I didn't die, so that's good. <laughs> that's good news, I did not die. Okay, now that we got through this part, what we got to do is you got to make sure that your time is on 100 and do exactly what I do here. Once you hit this thing, you want to jump back. Bow, bow, bow. And then, I mean, you don't really have to do it that way, but it, it saves time and. Oh, that was kind of. That was kind of risky. Uh, but I'll, I'll take that risk. Okay, that was, that was kind of scary. Oh no, this is scary. What? What? I, I was confusion. I was straight confusion. I didn't I didn't know how that happened. Um just allow me to get back to this thing. Please, I don't know what hit me. I, I really don't Oh man, um what? Uh I forgot that, that thing was there. If we can get back up to the save, maybe. Alright, okay, getting back up to the save, we don't have to worry. Alright, cool. So now, if I die, and I might actually kill myself, but if I die, um, I have less to worry about. Oh. Cool. Oh no, I accidentally did that, I'm kinda trapped. What? I meant to... That's about right. I think, I think that, uh... What? Oh, never mind. I thought that there's something there. Oh! I forgot that they were there. How do you get to be in the spikes but not me? Hmm? Oh no. Okay, we're good, we're good. One more hit and I could die, but... I'm going to take my chances. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going... I'm definitely going to take my chances here. Um, even though... Oh, wait. <sighs> Wrong room. I had to reset this. If you get grazes, this is another thing. If you almost touch an enemy, you can um you can uh get back health like that. That does is, like literally gives you back health and you'll see why that's necessary on certain bosses if I get to one. Um I know I am going to get to one because one is coming up pretty soon. Um but yeah, let's go. We're going back to this, uh... 
I forgot that I had this. And also it's pretty good as well because it gives graze and it gives back health. So this is the boss, the first boss that you're gonna fight. Why did you pick up? I don't care, we're going to fight this boss. Um, not here, it's a little bit further. So yeah, as you can see my health is like all the way back because it gave all those graze points. And what those do is, as I said before, it covers your health, oh no. Um, it recovers your health, so there's something over here. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know, I just I just know. This is I think this is one of your first abilities, yep. This is Oh, auto aim. So auto aim you can use these like this. And that's what it does. It takes away more MP than normal, but it's kinda worth it. Oh, I missed it. Wow, that's happening. Okay. Now you can get this key and get go through the door um, at the very beginning. Uh, the door that's over here. As you can see, this is the door that's locked in red. But we're not going that way. I don't think, if I recall, we're going this way. Yeah, we're going this way. <laughs> Alright. So this boss that we're about to fight... is a special boss. I think, in my opinion... Uh, other than some of the bosses later in the game, they're a little bit harder. But this boss is... Call it whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, this is this is the boss. I'm ready for it um, because I played it before. But other than that, so basically, the first thing that she does is guard. So if you can step on the other side of her, though your measly is down. Oh, oops! I can't hit her. Oh, forgot about that attack. You can't block from both directions. Ooh. Oops. I almost got hit by that twice. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of dealing with it all right, but uh, I would be doing much better. Ouch, that took away some more than normally. Uh, every boss kind of has something like this, where it will take away a lot of health if you get hit by it, but you kind of got to be stupid to get hit by it. Uh, and this is what it is. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. I don't, I don't really have a, a lot of MP. That's it. That's the boss. That's the boss. This is a chainsaw, but I kind of missed it. I'm not really feeling like going back to get it. But it is a pretty useful t tool. I don't know if it comes in later or earlier in the game. I just... Oh, I remember. I remember now. So I'm going to actually go back. This is the chains. Oh, wait. This is the stun knife. I don't want the stun knife. It's kind of whack. Alright, so this is the glitch. 
Now we move on to the next segment of the game, which is kind of kind of frustrating because this. Kind of got to deal with those things. There's there's a certain thing about those things that make them the most annoying things in the game. Uh, this is when time stop is really utilized um, in gameplay because they realized, oh yeah, I feel like time stop should really be necessary. So they start um, adding things like this, where you might actually want to slow down time for these things. Uh, but yeah, so now what we gotta gotta do? We got I think we gotta go down this way. Not 100 percent sure. Oh, these are the annoying things. These will basically dodge you. Um, so it's a good thing and a bad thing, cause like, say like right here. If I didn't want them to touch me, all I had to do was do that. But it's still annoying regardless. Oh, oh well. You, this is how you kill them, by the way. It's it's kind of annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And then to get past this part. These red clouds it seems like they really wouldn't do anything, but they almost affect how much time you spend on the overall game. Um, they are pretty annoying. Probably second most annoying things in the game. Two things? That's also very annoying, because it takes away too much damage. I got hit by the the um, the poison fog, I guess you could say, because I guess that's like its attributes kind of kind of poisons your your time manipulation. You can't do it. Oh my! That's another thing. Um, your enemies can get stuck in walls, so you can't hit them. Um, but just like any other game, they eventually will come out if you go certain places. Um, but yeah, it's still annoying regardless. I don't know why. Um, they didn't really decide to just do something else about that. Oh, oh. I kind of don't remember this area. Oh yeah, you need the, uh, the double jump and stuff. Th that comes later in because first, not only do you have to learn how to slide, but you need to learn how to double jump too. Um, and that, that is really necessary. That, that is probably one of the most crucial things in this whole game. I think this is where you get it, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is you're gonna see me pause at like almost every run. So I'm not. All right. So this is one of the ones you might need to do this for. All right. You're probably wondering like how do I know that? If you look at the top, um, the chain is either like kind of broken or not. I don't even remember the pattern. All I know is like whether when I see it, like right there. You can see that it's kind of broken, so um, alright, that one's good. Um, this is a troll room right here. I, I no, it wasn't this one. It was this. One. Oh, it was that one. See, that one will fall. Now I got the double jump. See, boom. Now you can double jump. That's the reason why they put the save there, like why did they put the save there? Because they know that if you die there, you're gonna want your money back. Uh, you know what, I'm not dealing with that. To be honest, I have better things to do. Didn't think that you would survive that. I'm telling you, it's not really... This is just to kind of introduce you to the whole fact that there's stop timing. Like, there's things that deny stop time and have different, uh... 
uh, properties to stop time. Uh, so apparently this isn't not this is not really stop time. This dude just gave you a false uh, time stop thing. So you kind of need your money back. Yeah, you really didn't need to use it and all that. So. But here it kind of gets annoying, like that. I I could just stay here for Grace Points for Scooter. Oh. Okay. All it takes is not getting hit. Oh, I got them all. Who cares? Oh, and look at that. Oh, no. I thought that that was good timing. It was not good timing. Uh, oh. There we go. There we go. Good timing. Good timing. Now, Joe, go. Go. Oh, I forgot about you all. Forget about every room. And there's a wall. I remember that. Yeah, this is the chainsaw. Yes, get this is this is my favorite boss in the whole game. So now we can do two bosses at once in one gameplay, in one sweep. All right, Asakiya, that voice. Wait, I didn't say Asakiya. I was saying the name of the character that was speaking. It looks like you're having fun. Let me join in. Before I let you join, can I ask you why you're here? I came to borrow a book from the library, and I heard Romo was busy playing, so I'm breaking in instead. Don't worry, Romo gave me permission to break in. Are you sure? <sighs> Lady Roma, crack, crack. You're not ready for this. Yeah. You're the only one who's going to- What? It's gonna be get- Get out of here. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I forgot how that works. Ooh, I forgot how this one works, too. I remember that, though. Ah. The reason why I like this boss- Oh, because how it feels. I totally forgot the timing for that drone. Oh! Oh, no, that's not what you're supposed to do there. That's what you're supposed to do. <gasps> that's not good. You hit him, hit him, to. Oh. Okay, you totally messed up. I don't know what that was. There we go. I got the hit. Uh, how do you switch your things? Okay, there it is. That's all I needed that for. Oh, messed up. You get health back on this boss, so it's not, not, oh whoops, almost messed that one up. Uh, oh, I missed that. I missed the chainsaw. I'm going to go all out already? Oh wait, whoops. The way that this one works is bloop, bloop. I missed another chainsaw. That's a lot of MP that I'm wasting right there. Yikes! Whatever, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, oh. Whatever, I'll take that too. Boom, boom. Oh, that was close. I'm not gonna be able to do the chainsaw thing. 
totally forgot the timing of it. Oh, whoa. Messed that up and I lost a big deal of health. Alright. Okay, it's kind of focus mode now. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of focus mode. background, foreground, oh, let me get that grace points, come on, come on, come on bro, come on bro, it's, it's, fo I told you it was focused on like, now, now you're just dead, <laughs> oh wow, you shouldn't be able to use your powers, I was just trying to get that last hit. Oh man, a stretch, I deserved that one. Oh, stretch, there we go. I think this is a boss that I was having troubles with. I don't like her. Patchouli, Pachali, Patchouli, Patroli, I don't care about you, let's fight. Ooh, I do remember this boss though. Uh, oh no, how about this, what, wait, oh what, oh, I got to the dialogue, <laughs> okay, I died, I can no longer brag, I can no longer brag about not dying on the bosses, I died, alright, but now I know what to do, I remember what to do, um, of course it's not gonna happen the first time around. No. It's gonna happen. Oh gosh. How many times I'm gonna forget about that man? Give me back help. I like this music, it's bumping. Who who said I remember that now. I remember what to do for that. You don't have to really stop time for that. The reason why I was stopping time was because of the... Oh, wrong direction. Can you just not do that? Alright, for this part, fairly simple. Oh wow, I didn't slide for some reason, I didn't slide, I jumped. Oh. Whatever. I think Chainsaw is alright. I don't know if it really worked that well. Oh, oh. I didn't really work too well. We're pretty close to the edge here. Okay. Let's 
What? Oh no. Alright. I think I think I got this boss now. Because oh, there's more bugs, whatever. Stay in the empty spaces? What? I don't see any empty spaces. That's Okay. This part, this part just gives me back one more health. Come on, man. I'm not full because of you. Okay. Alright, that was easy. This part is still probably easy. Yep. Cult it. Yeah. Can I still stand underneath you during this? Oh, oh no, I kinda get hit. Oh. Kinda getting kinda losing health here. That is crazy how much health you just kind of get back at that point. Oh, that's where that comes into play. Because she does go to the side a lot. I kind of just realized that. At the very last second jump. Ha! Yeah, I got you now. Ooh, oh, oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about those. Stop time, stop time. Let them go. I totally forgot about them. And that was about to cost me. Come on. Give me all my health. I want all my health back. Oh, you didn't give it all back, you freaking loser. For that. No, I. What? It's. Can't cancel. Cancel. Oh, I don't know why that happened. No, no, you're dead. You're dead. Cough, cough. Yeah, you're dead. How about that, bro? How about that, my guy? How about that? Three bosses down. I think that I think that's enough. That's really enough for me to call it quits. Call it quits. Why do people say that? Call it quits. It's like I'm a quits. No, you say I'm a quit, not quits. Call it quits. So yeah, I'm a call it quits here. I just beat this boss. Cough, cough. Once again, get out of here. Uh, I thought. It was, uh, Miss Palauchi. No, it was, um, Ding that created the world, uh, the other girl. Wait, was I, was I playing this with analog the whole time? No, wait, no, I wasn't. Wait, was I? I think I was. Ew, what the heck? Wait, was I? I don't, I, I think I was playing this with analog the whole time. Uh, I don't know, bro. Anyways, we got the green key. Uh, that will end this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed this. I really do, because, man, even though this game is great, it can be stressful. And uh, it can show, it can really show. Um, let me, before I end this uh, gameplay, uh, level up one more time. Uh, I feel like it's a fit. I mean, you see it all the way up there, but it's just not right there. I saved the game. Get my stuff back. Uh, let's, let's level up. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, whatever. I don't know why you're not just swimming. I don't know why you gotta be all extra with your stuff.
Let's level up, please. There we go. Level 12. Alright. I think that this is a good part in the game for me to uh, call it quits, like I said before. Uh, I didn't quit the game. Uh, I think this. Oh. I was about to say, that thing hurt me. Anyways, we're about to call it quits here. Uh, we're here in the place with the green door. Uh, and uh, this will be what we're going to have to be going against uh, later in the future. Probably if I return to this game. Uh, if you want more of this, uh, please be sure to let me know. Because, uh, quite frankly, this game is really challenging. Uh, pretty challenging. Uh, but once you get the hand of it, hang of it, hand of it, whatever. Once you get the hands for it, you're good. So that's my save. Um, without any further ado, I'm going to end the gameplay. As I said, 16 times already, I'm pretty sure. And um, before I keep you all here for any longer, peace, bro.